Hi, my name is Martins and I'm here with Demon Media and the band Orchard. How are you guys doing today? We're good, good. thank you. Thank you, yeah. Have, really have you enjoyed the festival? Yeah, yeah it's been yeah. nice. Been good. I lay on an amazing beanbag. Oh. I don't really know which camera meant to be looking into, so I'm just going to look at the wall. <laughs> there we go. You, that one. It was an amazing beanbag. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know that you have just come off the set and how, how was the crowd here compared to like other places that you've been to? They were really lovely. I couldn't see anyone, so it was just like, hello, is there people there? But there were people, yeah. and it was really good fun. They were they were happy. I mean, who's not happy at like, yeah, exactly. like a, a weekend? Festival? Exactly. You just released a new single titled Darling. Yeah. So are you ready to answer some questions about that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. go on. What, what was your inspiration behind this single? Um, the backing of the single was uh, wrote a while ago and was sort of like dropped and like yeah. for a while and we didn't really use much. Um, and then I started writing the words a little while ago and Daniel, our bassist and backing vocalist, uh, wrote the chorus. I don't know, it was just one practice. You, I think you started noodling the riff. Oh yeah, it got, it got, um, it got shelved for ages, for ages because we were just like, no, no, no. And then Lucy was like, I want to give it another go. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, I think, Something happened, and we just went one practice. We were like, "Oh, got, this is the song got a new now. single, yeah. Yeah. got a new single. Like, it's cool." Yeah. We weren't expecting to release that as the new single, which is pretty cool. Mm. We just sort of watched through our meeting skills. <laughs> Thanks, BRS. Um, but I don't think any of us thought it would be a single, and it just sort of worked. Mm. So we thought, "Why not?" No point. Exactly. In. Exactly. It's no time song, like so. now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah definitely. Uh, you're delivering kind of like a really fancy indie pop vibe. Are there like any specific like artists that you draw your inspiration from? Well, it's, it's <laughs> we we get this question a lot because we're I suppose unusual. Um, my biggest inspiration, I suppose, for my style is Gwen Stefani. Oh my I think God. she's the queen of everything. <laughs> yes, her she is. like her ability to like knee slide and still sing yeah. a note flawlessly kills me yeah. every time. Um, so I think for me it's her, but I think collectively as a band, sort of everything, everything is, is a yeah, big Yeah, every, everything, everything. But then like, it's like our drummer is into like hardcore mm. and like we all love like the Mars Volta, who is like some crazy bands. And, and then, then um, I love old indie music. Yeah. So like, donate me like Pigeon Detectives. <laughs> and, um, the claxons you listened to earlier. The claxons I was listening before. So everything just goes into one big, Melting pot, can I swear? Yeah. Is that okay? uh, not no, really, no. But... don't swear. <laughs> I almost swore and I was like, oh. one big flipping melting pot. Oh. And then, um, <laughs> that sounds good. That's so good. And yeah, and then this just comes out. Mm. So yeah, it's cool. Our drummer write, writes a lot as well, which yeah. I mean, I said, sorry to all the drummers, but I, I think people don't get that. Like some drummers write loads yeah. because the drummers are like the butt of every joke. Yeah. <laughs> so like, you know, how many drummers does it take to turn like, but yeah, our drummer, like our first single, Peggy. Peggy. Our drummer just came in and was like, yeah, look at this. Did the big noodle on the guitar and we were like, whoa, whoa, teach me. <laughs> and then it was a song, yeah. So Yeah, before the interview started, you guys told me that you've been uh, traveling about already for quite a while. Yeah. Is there like a really cool festival that you will absolutely like die for to participate in? Personally, I'd really love to play Lee Fest. Right. So if you know Lee Fest. Yeah. Um, I went to, uh, a conference ages ago, an AIF conference, and the guy that runs it, Lee, of mm -hmm. Lee Fest. Really? Um, I thought he was called Dave. I know. <laughs> Surprise. And he was there, and he was just talking with um, the guy that runs Isla White Festival. And the, just the way they were talking, I was like, okay, you've got so many ideas, and you're so creative. The fact that he started it, like, what, 10, 15 years ago, in his garden. Like, I'd love to play Lee Fest. Is that a cause... festival that's got all the mad areas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd just love to play there because it's filled with glitter and unicorns and magic. And... I like that. I like yeah. unicorns, I'm just, glitter I'm and magic. I'm just going to be basic yeah. and say Glastonbury. Yeah, oh. I mean, that would be... I, ever nice. since I was, a, ever since I was yeah. a kid, I've always been like, when I play Glastonbury, no matter if it's on, like, a, a rubbish stage, <laughs> or a small, a small stage, I'll be like, bitch, playing play Glastonbury. Glastonbury. <laughs> play yeah. Glastonbury, play oh, yeah. Glastonbury, play oh, yeah. Glastonbury. You both are literally the cutest, like, how do you, like, come up with your interesting sense of style? Because I'm looking at you guys and you, like, look really, like, out of the box extraordinary. I think it might help that we, we live in Brighton. Yeah. And Brighton's <laughs> just, like, just, a melting pot. You just go pot. to Brighton and just, like, 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, Weird yeah. meal. Oh, I just spilled beer all over. Oh, you've got white um, sheets on. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you Brighton is. I think Brighton probably helps. Yeah. I mean, I've always loved fashion. I've actually just bought my new little cousin, who is not even a year old yet. I've just bought her a Coco Chanel book. Oh, she's nice. not going to read it until she's like 15. <laughs> but I've just bought her it because, in my opinion, always take something off before you leave the house. Yeah. Like, there's just certain rules that I think I follow and I love drag queens as well. I love drag queens as well. So new yeah. season of RuPaul is There we go, we already, be, we already befriended each other. Like Valentina. Literally. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Valentina and Sasha. Valentina, oh, I reckon. The yeah, the affair. Sasha Velour. Valentina. That, I think Sasha gonna, Velour gonna win. actually Sasha has Velour. released uh, a video that you would love to check out, <gasps> a music video. I've just pre-ordered some of her pins. Oh, oh I there love you her. go, there you go. But I think that's it. I think it's just Brighton. Yeah. You can't not not you can't not be creative because that makes some people sound yeah. silly but Brighton's been it's just a melting pot of yeah. everyone's imagination yeah. so. it's, it's, exactly. it's such a student town yeah it's people from student everywhere town. So, so it's just like it's so cool mm. it's, it's, yeah. I have a really quick like fire question around mm -hmm. for you guys okay. and you just like need to answer like yes or no just like in one do I get a buzzer <laughs> no no all Skittles. dancers are good dancers <laughs> Um, so, pineapples on pizza, yes or no? Hell, hell yes! Hell no. <laughs> yes! If I could swear, I'd express my true feelings, no. but no. Nah. We, we played in, here's a little thing. We That's not quick fire, you can oh. tell a story after it. It's yeah. okay, it's okay. I'll tell a story, <laughs> thanks. Um, so we were in Paris playing a show like last week, and um, we, Sam's vegan, I try and be vegan, and we were trying mm. to eat really healthy, and then there was a vegan pizza place, like, two minutes around the corner wow. and I got a pineapple and cheese pizza and it was the best thing No, ever. No shade. None of you liked your no pizza. No, no shade to the pizza place. It wasn't good. Oh. But they had, the they had a pizza. sister burger place <laughs> that was vegan as well and the burgers were legit. But the pizza was... Oh, I love so you, the pizza. You just, you just told me that you've been to Paris. How many other countries have you visited and like... We, we did. Um, We've just finished a European tour. Oh. We did. We did Ireland. We did Ireland. Just Dublin, which was probably the, my favorite yeah. gig of the. It was the first gig. Yeah. And Sorry, it just, everyone else. It, <laughs> no, no. The rest of the the rest of the, the, rest the gig of the was amazing. But Dublin like was Dublin was mental. Like it was so good. You try and say, oh, here's, here's a little story after. Yeah, yeah, Hello, yeah. how are you? People were just screaming, and it was like. Sick. I couldn't but get. Yeah, then we just came back to the UK yeah. and. Um, and then France. France. Yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. This was this was Orchard, and I think we have had probably one of the most fabulous interviews. Oh, you're so kind. And it's been amazing. Thank you very much, guys. No, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.